Cause God is always with me So I stand up tall Stand up tall Remember he is strong He is strong I won't be afraid Be afraid God is always with me Fear Fear Get out of here Fear Fear Get out of here now Fear Fear Get out of here Get out of here for good I'll see you later See you, see you later I'll see you later See you, see you later See you later, alligator See you, see you later I'll see you later See you, see you later See you later, alligator I don't need to be afraid no more no. Afraid no more no. God, I'm yours I don't need to be afraid no more no. Afraid no more no. another week of church together. All summer long, we are gonna be saying, ready, set, move! We are on the move and we are following Jesus here, there, and everywhere. And do you know why we can follow Jesus? It's because we can trust him. Jesus wants to be your friend forever. In fact, that's the answer to our big question this month. I'm gonna teach it to you now and then I want you to get ready to say the answer back to me. The question is going to be, who wants to be your friend forever? And the answer, I know you know it, it's Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Can you try that with me, friends? So when I say the question, I want you to shout the answer out loud. Here we go. Who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's right, boys and girls. Jesus wants to be your friend forever. And we can follow Jesus. All summer long, we are gonna be practicing the same memory verse because it is a really important one. When we know that Jesus loves us and that he came back so that he could be our friend forever, we know that we can trust him and we can follow him. In the Bible, it says, Jesus said, come follow me. Matthew 4, 19. Are you ready to learn it? I'm gonna teach it to you a little bit by a little bit and I want you to be my echo. So start by putting your hands up like this and we're gonna say, Jesus said, let's try that. Jesus said, good job boys and girls. Now this time, can you make a motion like you're saying, come over here, let's try that. And we're gonna say, come, try that with me. Come, good job boys and girls. Now get ready to walk, cause we're following Jesus here, there and everywhere. And you're going to say, follow me while you walk. Can you try that with me? Follow me. Great job boys and girls. Now show me your Bible. And it's Matthew 4, 19. Try that with me. Matthew 4, 19. Great job, boys and girls. Let's go all the way back to the beginning. Remember, we start with our hands up and we say, Jesus said, here we go. Jesus said, come follow me. Matthew 4, 19. Great job, boys and girls. Well, today in our true Bible story, we're looking in on our good friend Paul again. This time, Paul was traveling by ship to tell more people that Jesus wanted to be his friend forever. But oh no, Paul was shipwrecked. Oh, can any more bad things happen to this good guy? I wonder how Paul felt when he was shipwrecked. Let's check out our true Bible story and see. Ooh, ooh. Know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you. 
Hi friends, I'm Peyton, and I was so excited to play with the new boat I got for my birthday. It even has a remote control to make it move. But right from the beginning, everything started going wrong. First, the boat was broken. Then I crashed. No, 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 slow down. Ah! Then I couldn't get it to go the way I wanted it to. Finally, I was ready to sail my boat again. Then I couldn't get it to go at all. It's been a really hard day. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Peyton. Who? Who? Sailing a boat, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I'm trying to sail my boat, but everything keeps going wrong. Sometimes life gets hard, it's true. But we can still keep going, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. and welcome to my cupcake food truck. I tried to make a new cupcake and they didn't turn out the way they were supposed to. I forgot to add an ingredient and now they're all mushy. Which, come to think of it, is kind of perfect for our story today. <laughs> it's all about what we should do when we have a hard day. If you're ready for a story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, Two, three, tell me a story. Our true story from the Bible is about a man named Paul. Hi, Paul. Paul loved Jesus. Paul knew Jesus wanted him to love others and go here, there, and everywhere, telling the good news that Jesus wants to be everyone's friend forever. But some hard things happened. One day, Paul was on a boat. While the boat was sailing, there was a really big storm. Oh no! Can you help me make the rain? Pat your legs. First, the storm started small. Then it got bigger. Pat faster! And louder! Pat faster! But oh no! Then there was so much wind. Put your arms up like this. The boat blew this way. Move your arms this way. The boat blew that way. Move your arms that way. All of the people on the boat were afraid. Can you show me your afraid face? But look at Paul's face. He's not afraid because he knows that God is going to take care of them. So what did Paul do? He chose to love like Jesus and encourage everyone on the boat to not be afraid. Let's encourage the people like Paul and say, don't be afraid. Say that with me. Don't be afraid. But the storm was still going and they were still so afraid. All of a sudden, the boat hit some land and got stuck. Oh no! Everyone say, oh no! Oh no! The boat was stuck, but look. Oh. All of the people on the boat were safe, just like Paul said. Oh no. Now they were at a place they were not expecting to be and their boat was broken. What is Paul going to do? Paul chose to love like Jesus. Paul helped people who were sick. He prayed for them and he told them that Jesus wants to be everyone's friend forever. Here, there, and everywhere. Wow, <laughs> what a story, right? Even though Paul had so many, oh no, hard moments, he still chose to love like Jesus and tell people that Jesus wants to be their friend forever. <laughs> and that's what we can do too. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <gasps> hey there, Ollie, tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, 
Who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Paul loved like Jesus when things were hard, and so can you and I, too. Thanks, Lolly. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Paul went through so many hard things, but through it all, he still loved everyone and told them about Jesus. And even when it's hard, we can love like Jesus, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I'm going to keep trying, even though this is really hard. See you next time. Bye! Boys and girls, did you hear that? Even when life is hard, we can love like Jesus. Friends, as you can see from this whole summer, Paul had a lot of hard things happen to him, but he trusted that Jesus wanted to be his friend forever. He knew how much Jesus loved him, and so he still kept going out there and showing the love of Jesus. And we can do the same, friends, even when things are hard, because we can remember that Jesus wants to be our friend forever. Boys and girls, let me ask you that important question one more time. Who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's right, boys and girls. Will you pray with me? Let's fold our hands, bow our heads, close our eyes, and you can repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to be my friend forever. Even when life is hard, help me remember to love others. I love you, God. Amen. Amen, boys and girls. Well, make sure you come back next week because we have another part in this summer long series of learning about how we can follow Jesus by looking at the lives of people who did. I'll see you back here next week, boys and girls. I love you, bye.